uh, five seconds here for cameras. Well, Coach, how did you feel about the way the uh, the energy to start the game and the way this team executed in all three phases right out of the gate? Yeah, no, again, obviously we scored on our first 11 possessions and, uh, you know, both sides of the ball, you know, really complemented each other well. And, you know, Gavin doing a great job um, with his uh, return and uh, the longest return that we've had, I think, in seven years. And uh, you know, I saw, like, the hunger and the edge and the toughness that we played with in, in all three uh, phases. And uh, Zach was great in his kickoffs and placement. And uh, the one time Josh Plastener had a, a punt, you know, smashed it coming out of the, you know, the, the end zone there for 50 yards. So really um, thrilled with uh, the efficiency that we played with. I think we had five drives that were 10 plus plays. And so being able to, uh, you know, move the ball if we need to create, you know, I think we had 10 plus explosive plays. And, you know, we can do that out there today anyway and, and uh, rush the ball for some tough yards when we chose to do that. Really liked how the backs, I know that we didn't have this amazing rushing total, but I really liked our pad lean and loved how our guys blocked up front. And uh, we had one three and out on offense, four six on defense. And for the most part, we we're in really good position. Um, got out of hand and um, you know uh, so I think uh, you know our guys came in out of uh, halftime you know really pleased with uh, just played a lot of guys I think we played 87 players uh, in the game so the standard doesn't change you know I know that sometimes that's coach speak but you know that's that's when you walk in here feeling pretty good um, again uh, being one or no and uh, how we did it, and so that that matters too. But we had ten players that I think seven on uh, defense and three on offense that started their first game at Oklahoma, and so um, proud of those guys. First career touchdowns, you know, for Tall We Walker, Jaden Gibson, Jackson uh, Arnold, and Caleb Hicks. I think uh, Dylan and Jackson combined were thirty of thirty-three. So those guys did a, a great job. Can I Walker got in there and got his first strip. You know, Jay teaches that every day. You know, sometimes your fundamentals show up and sometimes they don't, but that was good to, to see that in our largest margin, you know, a victory uh, in an opener 106 years. So there's been a lot of teams come through here. Um, nobody's beating their chest, but, you know, just to be able to come out here and you want to see uh, discipline, uh, which we showed. You see phys physicality and uh, toughness. We, we saw that. And then the efficiency, taking care of the football, did that on offense. And uh, for the most part, I thought our guys tackled pretty well. And, you know, great positioning for, you know, most of the day. Did the execution you, level stay where you wanted it as you got deeper? Yeah, in the I mean, depth again, chart? we obviously at some point in time in the second half uh, kept things kind of tight. But those games can get ugly and, and be sloppy, and it didn't. So the execution was was good. Again, efficiency in the red zone. We said we had to get better, and uh, had a fourth down stop when they got down there a little bit close. And we were nine of nine on offense in the red zone, eight touchdowns and a field goal. So um, there's a lot that you know will affirm you know the things that we've been asking them to do. But we'll have you know uh, a lot of challenges you know you know again on the season. So. Uh, but a lot of things went our way today, and uh, they're not always going to, it's not going to always be that easy. I think our guys know. So, you know, we had a few guys that were banged up that probably uh, could have played uh, had we needed them. And obviously, well, I don't know a whole lot uh, right now uh, on those guys. I think uh, Drake maybe he just had an AC sprain, and, uh, you know, he was anxious to get back in there, but uh, we didn't need him. And, uh, you know, hopefully Davis is okay. Might might just be an M uh, I say just, but it, uh, an MCL. Uh, and uh, and then Son McCullough had an ankle injury. I don't think it's real severe, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't strong enough to go back in. Mm -hmm. Hey Brent, on your you know, you, you're looking for points on your on your special teams, and you got it right off the bat, but. That's why you are stressing your returns, isn't it? I mean, 
because you got ex you can score on those things. Yeah, we got again explosive playmakers and get the ball in in their hands. You know, Gavin's wide open. He can run through trash. He can stop and start. One of the best uh, acceleration um, uh, metrics on our team. And so you saw the one where they he, punter really got a hold of it and went over his head and hit off his his uh, his pads. And but he recovered and made some guys miss and was able to really accelerate there and pull away from some guys. So uh, he has the ability to do that. And we have lots of return guys that can do that. But, you know, field position is something that we didn't, uh, you know, we didn't fare particularly well a year ago and and being able to flip the field. And, but we all three work together. It's not just special teams. You know, the defense getting off the field, not letting people have you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve plus drive, uh, play drives is a big part of that too. And the offense not uh, going three and out, you know, all day. That that those are all affect your field position as well. But uh, those guys did a great job. And again, we had the, the one punt where we punted out of our, our own end zone there, but and and we flipped the field there. You know, all things again considered. So, uh, but that's an emphasis every team emphasizes it. But it's good to be able to see the uh, drill work show up on game day. Brent, how about the two-part question? Can you talk a little bit about Dylan just being a veteran leader and really managing the offense in the first half? Then in the second half, just the way Jackson played with composure in his debut with the Oklahoma quarter. Yeah, you know, it's Jackson's birthday today, so that was kind of cool. But Dylan, um, he's, again, uh, showed savviness, experience, um, poise, uh, you know, execution, you know, his decision making, his accuracy and his ability to take care of the football, throw the ball on time, you know, read, you know, what's going on from a defensive structure standpoint, but uh, just fantastic, you know, just a smooth guy. And, you know, our charge for him is to take another step when it comes to, you know, demanding excellence from everybody around you and helping everyone else get better. And um, he's taken he's taken that on you know himself. So really proud of him, and uh, he's a great teammate. And uh, so he's he's done great. And then Jackson came in and you know did a really nice job. Same thing, made some good decisions and threw the ball with accuracy and on time and put it uh, in the right spots and ran, ran the ball a little bit. And, and that was good to see to kind of get that out of the way for him, but. Uh, took care of the football, which is, you know, most important, and then making good decisions, you know, on where to spit the ball to and distribute it. Yeah, that's where receivers make some game. plays for Such a one-sided game. When, what can you take from a game that's so one-sided? Again, just guys staying focused and hungry and finishing and not getting sloppy. And the guys that come in, again, play to and compete to a standard, you know, uh, positioning, getting the call. Our process is pre-snap on both sides of the ball, not not having a bunch of penalties, uh, staying relatively healthy, and and again imposing your will, uh, winning lines of scrimmage, you know, protecting the football, tackling well. There's a lot that you take from it, and you keep uh, the right perspective. You have more uh, team teams that are in the future will have more depth and maybe more um, explosive playmakers on both sides of the ball, but. You know, I don't, I don't want to take anything away from our guys in the preparation either. You know, there's a delicate balance there, and, but it's a, a good, strong start. Some of the receivers that look like they made some plays, you didn't you know who your playmakers and all those guys. Did. We talked about that, and uh, you know, making plays, making something out of nothing sometimes, and you know, so whether it was Drake and his underneath stuff, or you know, Jalil in the in the screen game. Uh, I think it was uh, Andrell, was it the, the first one uh, early? Uh, made a great competitive play, and JG climbed the ladder and uh, made a great play in the end zone uh, for his touch, first touchdown. But we did that, you know, uh, a number of times today, and, and that's what you want to see. You know, not everything's going to be easy and clear and, uh, and guys be wide open, you know. If that happens, great, make the play. But make a play, too. And, and that's, uh, you know, was a point of emphasis. And uh, Emmett has done a, a great job at, at developing, you know, you actually practice that stuff. And people are draping all over you and good tight coverage, and you got to go make a play, you know. And so 
Now we've again today we saw that and uh, saw that in practice, and uh, so we need that to continue to develop as well. A lot of focus on defense uh, entering this season. Uh, what to, to you is maybe the, the <clears throat> most impressive thing that you saw defensively today, or the biggest difference from you know what we saw a year ago? I don't know if I can really compare it to a year ago. I mean, I, you check back in five or six games. Um, what I've seen on the field and practice in, in the meeting room, I, I, we had a better football IQ. Um, we've got more guys that are capable of playing winning football. Um, we're look more, more physical, uh, you know, from the back end to the front end. And um, we've got great competition that, and to me, I see continue to play out that's going to make continue to make guys better. But we've got really strong leadership. And again, it's a, it's a group of guys that like each other. And um, so all those things, you know, having been together for, um, you know, in a, another year, uh, being in the systems for another year. And we have several newcomers, but they, they've adjusted really well. And I think that's, you know, critical too, whether they're freshmen that got here in, in June or transfers that got here in June or, or guys that got here uh, collectively together here in January. Uh, you know, we have several of those guys too. And so it, to me, it's a credit to them and our players that willingness to accept them and help them you know, get to this point, and and then again, their character. You know, guys, it, it's not just about them. You know, put the team first, and I think that's a, a critical part of all of it. To get your chemistry and your cohesion, and the love, the trust, respect. You know, uh, and again, the season and all of its challenges will test all that too. And, and so this is got a lot to in front of us still. Mm. You guys only have. One sack today, but it seemed like you guys were really close. Did you like your pass rush today? It's, you know, probably solid. You know, I don't, I don't think they stood back there and held the ball forever. They had a, a bunch of seven and eight man protections at times. And so when you're rushing four, you know, you, you don't have a very good chance of getting there. But our coverage was pretty good. We, we had a few holes. Uh, they hit a couple things on us. You know, catch and run. We had a bust, um, really one glaring bust. And then we fundamentally, we didn't do um, you know the long, the long play they had on third and ten uh, was a was a, a bust, and uh, and then you know, we had a fundamental thing happen later uh, with uh, with a, a vertical route. They hit a couple seams on us, but uh, again the the pass rush it's hard to tell today. And the, you know the, if it wasn't three step and a screen game, then it was seven and eight man protection. But it has improved. Um, again, we'll see how how much you know here over time. What did you see from your cheetahs today that you liked yeah. or didn't like? I, I, I liked them. You know, I thought that they were active and were in pretty good position. Um, we had some man coverage and thought it was good. And, and if I was nitpicking, there's you know plenty to correct. You know, lost leverage, bad eyes. Um, you know. A couple of the sprint out plays, we got to do a better job on how we're playing. A couple of the sprint uh, sprint out routes, but uh, overall, again, pretty solid. Same question about Gentry as well. What'd you like? What'd yeah, you no, he's see? just he was ready. You know, he's on edge. Got a focused intensity about him. Uh, you know, the moment's never too big. He was physical, and then some of the uh, screen game, and um, you know, he's fearless. He's got a fearless uh, mentality to him, and a great teammate. But unless you coach him hard, and he's a lot, he's very prideful. Brent, I was going to ask you about if you felt a difference between this opener and last year. You were, you were awfully hopeful and optimistic coming out of that game, and I get the sense maybe your answer is going to be a longer answer to Ryan's question a bit ago. That it's more foundational. Maybe you just feel better about the overall. As yeah. Opposed to pinpointing specifics. Again, the same stuff that we talked about in some of the fall camp stuff, um, where I felt like we're better. And today was affirmation uh, in some ways, the competitive depth. And again, uh, just another year in our systems. But again, the test of time will really uh, tell all of that. But, um, you know, a lot there's a, for, for me, you know, there's a lot that I didn't know. A lot of, the, again, I spent the first year with a lot of year of the first. And so there's, there's a much more comfort level, you know, for me, there's not, uh, the anxiousness about the unknown, 
And um, I guess, again, I'm just kind of thinking through it as you're asking me, but, uh, you know, so a little more comfortable and, and, and trusting everybody to do their job and everybody's on the same page. So, again, the test of a season will really. Talk about a championship culture. A guy like Gavin who earns opportunities, earns a scholarship, but then goes out there and does what he did today. What does that do in terms of driving home to everyone in this program what you're trying to do here? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it 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 creates the buy-in that you want, you know, uh, you know, from again, everybody have a genuine appreciation for everybody's role in their journey. Everybody's going through something, you know, and uh, pulling for each other and having a selfless, you know, attitude and. Uh, being thankful for the opportunity and thankful for you know a brotherhood and we like probably everybody we push family and relationships and connection I think that's foundationally and you know that's where everything starts and uh, and so I love to see that everybody you know it's an endearing thing to see and as opposed to self promotion and it's all about me and what's about my opportunities. I, I love that, and I love an underdog story, and, uh, and so do the players. And uh, but we've got a, a bunch of guys like that. That was uh, that was. Anytime you're in position and you can do that, that's uh, you want to reward guys that deserve it. And what were we gonna say? I didn't mean to catch you off but on a separate note. A lot of pink up in the stands today. Was there an opportunity for you in the middle of all that to just look up and? Yeah, no, it's you know. The people of Oklahoma, again, this is my 15th year here, and, uh, you know, all of my children were born here in Norman, Oklahoma, so um, uh, I'm not surprised uh, by by the people of Oklahoma, the love, the support, the compassion, uh, and the loyalty, uh, it's second to none, and um, we're incredibly grateful, uh, and, again, for us and for Julie, as I've said before, there's no question that uh, this is this is an opportunity for us to be a blessing for a lot of people um, that are going through similar hardships or even worse. And there's plenty that are a lot worse. And so uh, it helps you have a, a again a great appreciation. And uh, but for for us, you know, we're incredibly thankful, but not surprised. And uh, so that's cool. Two more. The, the safety the safety room. Young, several new guys there. What do you what do you think about? Uh, same thing that I've been thinking about them. I really like that group. Key Lawrence and Billy Bowman and uh, Reggie Pearson, Peyton Bowen. Those four guys in particular. You know, RJ. Uh, it will be cleared uh, this week. He's been practicing with us, but keeping him uh, limited and unless unless something happens that I'm not aware of between now and then, but I uh, really like the group. They're uh, athletic, they're very competitive, uh, instinctual, and um, we're getting the best version of Billy, we're getting the best version of Key. Uh, Reggie's been a great addition. They all like each other, and that's something, again, just isn't just gonna happen on its own. You write people about the right stuff, and then we gotta nurture that, do a good job of nurturing that. And Peyton has been uh, just again. He's 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 a lot of fun uh, to have in the group. And again, he's he has no uh, you know no expectation other than he's going to get his opportunity for what he earns. And and I love that about him. And he can do a lot of things. And uh, and then R.J. coming back uh, is going to be great, you know, as well, you know, to help us have even you know more competitive depth there. Last one. Yeah, so they both could have played today, but we chose to hold him out again. R. Mason had a ankle uh, early in camp, and uh, he's looked great. But we, we thought about, I mean, hopefully he didn't have any setbacks, but we would expect him to play this week. And uh, and then Gavin, his his words will tell you he's about 95 percent, and and so we decided to, to hold him today, but would expect him. Uh, back this week. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Brent. All right, appreciate you all. Thank you.